How to erase in Illustrator. Now this is something that I don't necessarily ever use the eraser tools, but I do have ways of cutting objects and getting rid of parts of shapes. But let's look at the eraser tools first. If I have a shape selected, the eraser tool looks like this. It's shift E. You might see scissors or knife tool as the icon. It's inside of this tool panel. Just click and hold or click on your eraser tool. Now we can scale the size of the eraser up and down with our bracket keys on our keyboard. We can also double click the eraser tool options, change the angle, the roundness, the size. You can adjust basically the brush of the eraser tool right here or reset it to its default settings. When using it, you simply erase like a brush. So I click and drag and it erases parts of this. So really quickly, if you wanted to create some kind of interesting effect, you could do that right here with that eraser tool. Same thing if it's just an outlined shape with the stroke, you can erase a section here. Now the interesting part is it will keep that stroke together depending on whatever your brush with that eraser tool was. So you can see as I erase down, it kind of just still creates that shape just like that. Now there is something called the path eraser tool. If we click and hold on the shaper tool or you might see the pencil tool, one of those two, there's actually a path eraser tool. What you have to do with this one, actually I need to get an object selected like this guy. When you see an anchor point, you can click and draw on that anchor point to erase from the anchor point to the end of your drawing. So if I let go, it just erased from that first anchor point down. So I could click on this anchor point and kind of draw back and it erases the path all the way to that point. If I click outside of it, it really doesn't matter where I'm at. Nothing can happen to it unless I click on an anchor point and use it. Didn't really know this tool existed. By the way, that does work with fills as well. If I'm working with these right here, I can erase these around until I let go and it erases from here to there basically. And then if it's a fill, it'll just connect from one anchor point to the other and try to fill in the space of the object. A really interesting tool that I would probably just about never use because if I was erasing parts of paths, I would want to actually use the direct selection tool or the pin tool. A is the shortcut key for the direct selection tool. I can literally click these three points right here and say, I don't want those anymore, delete them and they go away. So now I'm left with just these points. I could click on individual points, like just click this one and hit the delete key. Now I just have this point and this point. They're not connected. If I wanted them to be connected, I would use the pin tool. And when I have the pin tool selected, shortcut key is P. I can actually hover over. Well, I can't do that unless I have it selected. So use that selection tool, select it, then grab the pin tool. I can hover over a point and it's got a little minus icon. I can delete that point. Now it's just going to try to create the path from one point to the other with whatever handles there were. So whatever's remaining will be the path. Same thing over here on this shape that has a fill. If I select the pin tool again, I can delete points out of here and it's just going to connect from one to the other. Or I can actually press A for the direct selection tool and delete very specific points just like this. Now, if you wanted to, let's say, cut out a portion, maybe I wanted to cut out a triangle from this or erase a triangle, if you will. Well, maybe I would create a triangle to start with. Uh, I'd go to the shape tools and then I'd go find the polygon tool, maybe click out here, do three sides, hit OK, boom, I have a triangle. OK, if I wanted to erase. I can't really see that. So let's change the color really quick. I'm just going to do this really quick for you guys. Uh, if I wanted to erase this triangle or remove this triangle from this other shape, I would select both, use my shape build tool as shift M, the shortcut key, and find this triangle, hold option or alt to remove it from this outer shape. So you don't have to necessarily erase things. You can actually remove other objects from other shapes here in Illustrator very easily without the eraser tools. But if you were looking to use an eraser tool, kind of like how Photoshop erases pixels, then you can use shift E, which is the eraser tool here in Illustrator, just like that. All right, guys, that is how to erase in Illustrator. I'll see you in the next one.